Number 11, hot start. Hot start. Hot start. Which of the following conditions has the most potential for causing engine damage when starting or attempting to start a turbine engine? It's a hot start. Hot start. Hot start. Number 12. Crank the engine with the starter or by hand with the mixture control in cutoff, ignition switches off, and the throttle fully open until the fuel charge has been cleared. Once again, crank the engine with the starter by hand with the mixture control in cutoff, ignition switch off, and throttle fully open until the fuel charge has been cleared. How is flooded engines equipped with a float type carburetor cleared of excessive fuel? Crank the engine with the starter or by hand with the mixture control in cutoff, ignition switch off, and the throttle fully open until the fuel charge has been cleared. Okay? Number 13. Okay? Which marshalling signal should be given if an aircraft, if a taxiing aircraft is in imminent danger of striking an object? You're gonna tell them to stop. Stop. Stop, get in front of them and tell them to stop. Okay? That's exactly what that's saying. If the aircraft is in danger of hitting anything, you're gonna tell them to stop. Go, okay, it's the universal signal, hey, stop, okay? Number 14, continue cranking and start the engine if possible. Continue cranking and start the engine if possible. So generally when an induction fire occurs during starting of a reciprocating engine, the first course of action should be continue. Just keep going. Keep starting, keep cranking. The engine will turn on and it'll cut out that fire. Generally, when induction fire occurs during starting of a reciprocating engine, the first course of action should always be to continue cranking and start the engine if possible. Continue cranking and stop, start the engine if possible. Number 15, continue cranking the engine and blow out the fire. Continue cranking the engine and blow out the fire. If an engine fire develops during if an engine fire develops during starting procedures, the first step you should take is to extinguish the fire is continue cranking the engine and let the engine blow out the fire. Continue cranking the engine and let the engine blow out the fire. Okay? Crank the engine, continue cranking it, and the engine will blow it out. Number 16. For engine cooling purposes, for engine cooling purposes, when starting and ground operating an aircraft's engine, the aircraft should be positioned to the head into the wind primarily for engine cooling purposes. Engine cooling purposes. When starting and ground operating an aircraft's engine, the aircraft should be positioned within, you know, headway, with the wind primarily for engine cooling purposes. Engine cooling purposes. Number 17, 100 feet, 100 feet. When approaching the rear of an idling turbojet or turbofan engine, the hazard area extends aft of the engine approximately 100 feet, 100 feet, 100 feet. Feet. So the danger area in front is 25. Remember that one? Well, in the back, it's 100 feet. Danger area for the back, uh, the back of the engine is 100 feet. Number 18, the fuel-air mixture was excessively rich. Fuel-air mixture was excessively rich. If a hot start occurs during starting of a turbine power plant, what is likely to cause? A fuel-air mixture was excessively rich. The fuel-air mixture was excessively rich. Ground operation servicing number 19. Tetraethyl lead in the gasoline forms deposits in turbine blades. 
the tetraethyl lead in the gasoline forms deposits on turbine blades. Tetraethyl lead in the gasoline forms deposits on turbine blades. What effect, if any, will aviation gasoline mixed with jet fuel on a turbine engine? The tetraethyl lead in the gasoline forms deposits on turbine blades. Number 20, only the first one is true, huh? So, jet fuel is higher viscosity than aviation gasoline, therefore holds contaminants more readily. Jet fuel is of higher viscosity than aviation gasoline, and therefore it holds contaminants more readily, okay? So only the first one is true. Jet fuel of, is of higher viscosity and a, than aviation gasoline, and it holds more contaminants more readily. All right, take another quiz, and I'll see you soon.